Hello and welcome back. I'm Libluini and this is part 3 of my casual LP of Cataclysm. This time we'll... a uh, moment please. Okay, I just had to control my recording software real fast, but it seems everything is in working order. So, if you remember the cutscene from last time, we are supposed to find the destroyer Bushanri from our dear friends. So, and this is exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm using mostly my scouts. Moving around after a while, we get automatic updates about where we actually have to go. To get those updates, we have this is a super secret thing here actually start building the technology module which was mentioned in the cutscene. And as soon as we do this, our large ore container will be automatically destroyed. Most liables, um, yeah, well, we are getting to the right now. I am signing new formations, and moving ships around because we soon get visited by space pirates. Yeah, the first red things. And the message we are getting here is about moving asteroids. Soon we will... Uh, the first shows up. Right next to our command ship. This is mostly the reason why we can't just move up to our target as soon as we find it. Because the slower ships can easily move out of the way, but here I take a little risk by just moving my command ship a little bit. But as I learned bitterly in all the tries, uh, it's not fun moving large ships around with asteroid storms around. A few hits and you're capital ships are toast. So, you may notice the quality of the graphics has surged upward quite a bit. This is because I found actually an online guide helping me with uh, making the hardware renderer work. This time, instead of software rendering, the game Cataclysm actually works with OpenGL and a far higher resolution and now it actually looks ah oh yeah one of my working sh worker ships got hit yeah two thirds of its hit points gone now I have to dock it again for repairs as you can see a few hits by one of those large rocks and even the largest ship goes boom the sad thing is, those rocks are moving too fast to actually use the resources they are on. And later in the this, in this same mission I actually try it once and then find out that the rock simply continues traveling away and takes my worker ships with it. So here I'm finally building the technology module and we get another cutscene. The ore module is released and destroyed since we don't want pirates to take it from us. Boom, there it goes. Now we know the Somta are just miners and we could assume that after this mission is over and we found the Bushan Ray, we will simply deactivate the technology module uh, or 
build a smaller ore container to fit in, something like that, and continue mining. Well, let's just look what will happen, yes? Seems simple enough. The attack on Higara is over, the damaged destroyer is somewhere here, we go and help them, and then everything is fine. We go back to mining and the game is over. So, any bets on if this is really the last mission? Hmm? No one? Uh, I know. Just a try, just a try. Slowly moving rocks, slowly moving rocks. As you can see, I have, the, I have this weird habit of jumping back and forth between normal view and sensor view. Mostly because, well, I'm just accustomed to it. Sometimes I like to see the ships moving, and sometimes I just like moving around on the sensor plane, like some kind of deranged admiral. So now we can finally research technologies to make our worker ships do more than just collect resources. Finally. We can research repair, repair systems so our worker ships can repair ships. And after we finish that research, we can finally research our... Yes, we can then finally research our salvage technology and yes, this means that from that point, point onwards we can capture enemy ships. As long as we are careful with it. Smaller ships can be captured with one or two. Larger ships like heavy cruisers take upwards to five, I think. Well, this was fast and we start the next technology. And I'm moving scouts around, just to have something to do. Smarter move would have been to just make time lapse a bit faster. But here you see the sensor. Ah, finally I'm getting smart. And I'm getting dumb again, but as you can see, you can uh, from this point out. Uh okay, let's start again. Since this sensor view is a bit less uncluttered than the full time action in the first mission, you can see better how the, the, this is supposed to work. You can see the blue lights, which is our active sensor system. You can see our units in green, enemy units in red, and you can see those huge empty cubes, which are our passive sensor view, our passive sensor range. And if we move around, we can detect stuff in it, but we can actually really detect stuff inside our active range. Until then, we'll just uh, see that there's something there, and if our ships are gone, the view isn't updated. And now, the first enemies are here. Pirate fighters, our friends, the Tyrannic Raiders. And I'm sending them a little greeting from our corvettes. Since uh, they're only fighters, this is actually better than just attacking the single ship. Ah, finally, we found sensor echoes, and one of those three echoes is the Bouchandry. This is at least what our. Ah, here you can see what I mean, man. A combined salvo can det detonate several fighters at once. It is far better than just concentrating your fire on one little fighter. This would even waste the firepower of a fighter squadron like our Vasal here, or Acolytes if you want to go with the original. So and now I am moving a bit farther out to finally find the ship we are here. Our search and rescue mission is finally underway. What I'm uh, forgetting here is uh, something that will really bite my, me in the ass later. You may have noticed that I'm letting my worker ships just sitting here, even though I have upgraded them to salvage and repair ships. You may notice this is the first mission where I can use them to repair and salvage ships, and we are supposed to save a ship. 
those of you who can do basic arithmetic now, then I really forget, have forgotten something important here. So here I'm just looking around on the sensor screen. And here I committed another grave error because I forgot that okay. those pirates also have their own active nice sensor view. And here the, you see the enemy squadron suddenly changing course and try and tra starting to track my scouts. Those poor women are in for a bit of surprise thanks to my stupid orders. Yeah, I'm bumbling around with the command ship for no reason and finally try to repair damaged ships thanks to my just sitting there letting the rocks smash into the little ships. The really funny thing is the rocks seem to have hit one of my corvettes and one of my rocker ships. The rocker ship already repaired. But my gigantic command ship, the Kuna, has still not a single scratch on its armor. Now finally time lapsing and next cutscene. We found the Bouchanre. Great. He is the good old destroyer. Severely, severely damaged, and of course, this means we need the worker ships I have left back at my command ship. Well, shit. Now we have to wait until I actually think of sending them. Together, not to, of course, with a lot of ships to protect them, since there are a lot of pirates around. Yeah. Here I am sending my fighters first because, as remember, remember last mission, fighters are fast and if I need my more firepower I just can couple them together to get five corvettes. Here I am trying to think, which is always a bad idea for me. And then finally I send one single worker ship to help the Bouchanry. This is of course again a hilariously bad idea because a destroyer is a capital ship and a single worker ship trying to repair a capital ship takes a lot of time. Here I finally see the problem with my scouts uh, getting tailed by all those pirate firefighters and I try to resolve this issue by trying to get around them. Sadly, even though my scouts are faster than the pirates, they are not that fast, and as you can see, I for completely forget to order them again to fly in another direction, and two are already dead. And yeah, this is literally the only thing that is there, and all are dead. Yeah, that was fast. This is why you don't use time lapse in actual combat situations. Now I'm reordering my fighters to protect the single worker ship because I don't want to fuck up again. This was a bit embarrassing right here in the second mission. And now, yes, fine, uncluttered sons of you. Here I am. I'm actually, I've started to send my corvettes over because I don't want to get into a the situation. Uh, no. I actually sent them back. Okay. I hope I didn't commit another stupid error here. Maybe finally a rimmer, but something from earlier tries years ago. And uh, finally we get on with the mission. The Bouchon Ray has to be repaired. Now slowly, slowly my worker ship gets closer and closer to the destroyer and starts repairing it. Yes, almost dead. But ever so slowly, yeah, in time lapse you can slowly see the HP bar rise. You know, you know, even with all my worker ships, this would have taken a while. 
As you see, sometimes I go out of time lapse because I know if I stay too long here like this, pirates will suddenly turn up and I will react to it. Because I'm slow as molasses. My ships are dancing a bit, in impatient. And I noticed that I was getting attacked at back at the command ship. And I just kill every enemy fighter in one go. Oh, a few explosions more. And this trouble is solved. Still nothing hard here. No larger ships. Just fighters. No frigates, no enemy destroyers. So the Bouchonry is back to yellow. Fine, fine. But still uncontrolled rolling around. I guess we are mostly repairing structure and armor at this point, not actually something important. And as you see, another storm is coming from the right side. And... Apparently, we get help. A bunch of support frigates suddenly turned up and are on their way to help us. This is kind of fishy. The entire time we are sitting here completely alone except for roving pirate bands and suddenly, just suddenly, support frigates show up. And they don't speak with us. They just blindly charge to the Bouchonry. Well, I suppose we can solve this thanks to our production manager. Let's just build a few more fighters, just in case. This should help a little bit. And this means, of course, we can take the ships we had here and send them uh, all the way over there. Uh, slow. Slow. Oh, let's take a look at the helpers. Yes, they turn up. Blue, since they are neutral. They are, after all, from another Kiev, not Kiev Zomta. And we, the, our single ship is still repairing, repairing, repairing. Ah, finally stabilized. Looks good. While I'm still jumping around like mad, I should point out it's really looking good now, the game I mean. Man, the first mission really made my eyes bleed, I have to confess. I'm really lucky that I found a way to use OpenGL. Yeah, I'm starting coupling. If you remember the first mission, I'm actually coupling a bit earlier now, since coupling under enemy fire is something you shouldn't attempt. Now we'll take a good look off at the helping frigates. They are astonishingly fast. You will never see one of our frigates moving that fast. Okay, now I'm really curious. And I'm moving around like Warren again. Let's get out of the way of our support frigates. And cutscene time. Well, no, that's not something a frigate can do. Seems our work guys are finding. Oh, well, cloaked ships? Some kind of weird projector and, and actually pirate corvettes blasting at our destroyer. Sadly though, we ha already had the destroyer repaired enough so that a few of its weapons are online and we have corvettes of our own. And 10 more are coming. So, sorry pirates, but now I'm killing you all. Oh shit. Pirate reinforcements showing up. Now let's get a, bit, a, bit, a little bit more hairy. 
but thankfully most of the enemy corvettes tra are trying to destroy the destroyer. And there is one gone al already and I'm starting to chop them up. Yes, that destroyer so it does work a little bit with us. Uh, next frigate, uh, Corvette gone. Oh, it's call I'm calling some frigates again. Oh, my bad. Yeah, lots of enemies turn up. Uh, as you can see, we are already having trouble in normal. You can already guess what kind of a shit show this would have been in difficult. So let's stay in normal. My Corvette's taking taking a lot of hits, but the longer they're not shooting at the destroyer, the more time my other Corvettes have to come closer. Yes, yes, hell of the equator, or whatever. And yeah, doesn't look so good. My Corvettes are getting slaughtered. And now they start firing. Ah, oh, finally, my 10 other Corvettes are here. Let's start with those pesky little bastards trying to destroy my worker ship. And let's just trust in the quiet, the sturdiness of our destroyer. So, the two any graders here have basically two kinds of Corvettes. Rocket corvettes or missile corvettes sending swarms of missiles, bad for capital ships, and bad for other corvettes too. I can kill a corvette quite fast if you're getting plastered by them. And standard corvettes. Standard corvettes are essentially the pirate version of our own corvettes. Same EHP, same firepower, roughly. Just a little bit more maneuverable. Essentially, they are fodder. The rocket corvettes, however, are kind of, kind of beastly. Important is, of course, to destroy the standard corvettes as fast as possible since they don't take much hits, many hits, and also important to remember they are the ones who will more likely attack our own corvettes. As you can see now, almost all enemy corvettes are dead, especially the standard corvettes, and suddenly the people on, uh, on board the rocket corvettes had no, have noticed this and attack us. Sadly, too late, because now there are no other corvettes annoying us and we can concentrate our fire. One rocket corvette after another. Well, considering the use swarms of little uh, missiles as used by capital ca some cat capital ships. I guess I should call them missile corvettes. Trouble here is of course I only have my German version and well the German word Rakete can mean can mean both rocket and missile. It's kind of interchangeable and what it actually means depends on context so I'm kind of at a loss. Most call them missile corvettes. Sounds better. And finally, we are back to repairing the Bouchonry. The last enemy ship explodes. At this point, I'm finally getting nice smart. Head. And remember that it's actually a somewhat better idea to first repair my damaged corvettes. Before, before I start with this, I of course look around, see that I have still two working ships waiting back at the command ship, and finally send them from the crew land over just so this boring repairing gets finally done. So, and on with it. Of course, uh, sending the ships. Uh, wrong. Yes, guarding. And guards. And of course, this means I have to build 
another couple of ships just so I'm, I can clean off little annoying insects when they turn up and my ships are again on their way and we get new pirates and yes um, hopefully this is the moment I'm getting smart or do I just waste a lot of time so which rounds do I impel first? Then I switch to another, another damaged corvette. And we get, as we can see from the incoming fire, a nice visit. Luckily, this. Yes, mostly fighters. Okay, and one Corvette. The prudent course of action is destroying all fighters and then des destroying the Corvette. Of course, because I'm stupid, I instead... Well... Okay, thanks. The Bouchandry has helped me out. What I wanted to say is I actually missed one of the fighters. Yeah, Tyranny Graders are astonishingly fast and mobile. Something can really fuck you up if you're not prepared for it. Always stupid when 10 of your fighters, or corvettes in this case, suddenly run off to shoot that one single ship that has somehow evaded all your firepower, and the mission objective stays undefended behind. I'm repairing the other corvettes. I hope as hell that finally, slowly, my other working ships are finally coming here. Yes, and repair. Luckily, this isn't as hard as it looks. It's just the working ship is really damaged and can't. Stay close enough. Well, it obviously can, but just with a little yeah. trap. Almost everything repaired up. Fine. Yeah, no pirates and so Of course, pirates are back at my command ship and have actually attacked my fighters. Luckily, they are, can sometimes be a bit stupid, so instead of continuing to attack my fighters, they for some reason try to attack my command ship and go in slaughter. Now I have to redock my defense fighters for repairs, kind of, kind of actually the opposite of what I wanted, and so is this enough? Uh, well. Two worker ships are on the way, so I can think a lot about this and ah, finally, finally reinforcements. This is one of the great reasons why you should always really think about what units you want to send where. Because if you come make an error in judgment, then you can lose a lot of units and can have sometimes almost start over. Now I'm coupling those fighters to reinforce my corvette squadron. Finish off repairing the last of them and finally repair the worker ship itself. And then we can finally, finally start to finish repairing the Bouchandry. Yes, repair, repair, repair everything. Ah, still one or two little ships. A few scratches in armor out. Luckily, small ships like Corvettes are really fast to repair. 
technically I could even do this with fighters, but at that point you have, well, just, let's just say, an actual, uh, actual large battle, fighters will die fast enough, it's actually more prudent to just build new ones. Comrades are kind of an edge case, and I'm doing this only right now because, well, it's the second mission of the game and I can still do it, since Corvettes are the largest ships right now we have and our enemies have. So, now we're reordering our ships here. Now we have one large squadron of Corvettes. Two worker ships repair one worker ship, and one worker ship continues repairing the Bouchandre. Now the only thing we have to do is wait. Waiting. Oh, already finished. Okay, now we have three. Now it should go three times faster. The bad point, of course, is since a destroyer is uh, one of the largest capital ships, it still takes for fucking ever. Really. The only ships worse would be heavy cruisers and carriers, or the command ship itself. The destroyer is not a slow step downwards. This destroyer actually is looks a little bit s smaller than ours, but since we don't actually need to build destroyers right now, since we are peaceful miners and everything is fine and all. Well, let's just wait until we can actually have destroyers of our own. This is a typical Hugaran destroyer built by our more combative mid keith mid-class, and we are almost finished with repairs. Yeah, yeah, every last little scratch in the armor has, been, has to be repaired. Oh, wait. Haben Sie eine Notrufsonde aktiviert? Negativ, Kunlan. Wir empfangen das Signal bereits, seit wir in den Sektor eingetreten sind. Es muss sich um irgendeinen Wrack handeln. Die Quelle des anormalen Signals wurde ausgemacht. Könnte wertvoll sein. Empfehlung? Senden Sie ein Arbeitsschiff zur Untersuchung und Bergung der Signalquelle aus. Well, looks like we found another wreck. An unknown wreck. Well, this is mit mysterious. And our faithful leaders want us to send another worker ship to salvage it. Whatever it is. Since I'm not completely dense, this time I'm actually sending my combat ships with them. Since the destroyer is now finished with repairs, it should be able to destroy a lot of enemy ships on its own. So, a few little, little covets and those other repair ships, well, they aren't actually needed, but I'm still hesitant to send them all the way back. Uh, there are more asteroids passing through. Yes, yes, and I'm of course forgetting to use time lapse again. I have no idea how many pirates there actually are on this mission. I guess if you're really crazy, you could spend a lot of time moving ships around, trying to find every last one of them. But this is really not necessary. And what is this? Empfangen Signale der Turanischen Freibeuter. Sie scheinen ebenfalls hinter dem Wrack hier zu sein. Empfehlung: Piraten angreifen und vernichten. Achtung, Bouchanre. Könnten Sie wohl aushelfen? Tut uns leid, Kunlan. Wir haben gerade einmal die Navigationsanlagen so weit repariert, dass wir einen Übersprung ausführen könnten. Außerdem solltest du einen Werbung ein paar Piraten aufnehmen können. Dann well, thanks for nothing, Ende. assholes. So, thanks to us sending an entire fl little fleet to the wreck. The Turani Graders have noticed this, and they are on their way. And the Bouchan Re, well, jumped out. Well, luckily we spent so much time in helping and repairing them, but apparently they are still too damaged to help us. Apparently all those weapon systems they use just happened to stop working right this moment. Well, shit. Now we are alone and have to 
destroy those pesky pirates and hope that our 12 corvettes are enough to kill them. For this reason I'm moving my corvettes out of the way and start salvaging the mysterious wreck. Nach Untersuchung des Piratenwracks sind unsere Ingenieure überzeugt, dass sie die Mimikry-Technologie reproduzieren können. Wir können sofort mit der Erforschung der Holographie-Projektoren beginnen. So, and now we found out how to replicate the pirates' hologram technology. This is actually kind of neat. But first, ah, good research starting. Would have been really stupid if we forgot. So now we see salvaging from close up, and I'm sending my corvettes to destroy the little fighters coming first. All of them. And so Frank is salvaged, and back you go to the command ship, and there go the pirate fighters exploding like little fireworks in deep space. Looks like all, all our problems are solved. Well, the mysterious frag is sent back to our command ship. Pirates are all dead, and we're moving back. No sense of waiting. Time lapse, time lapse, time lapse, time lapse. Another pirate moves far away from us, and more, even more pirates are suddenly turning up behind us. The first ship is a corvette, which is actually kind of stupid, since this way we can, with one or two concentrates and salvos, destroy the free uh, the, the corvette. Then, of course, we can just slaughter the fighters. Oh, apparently there is one corvette behind it, and two swarms of little, little swarms of fighters. Oh, well, we actually only needed one salvo to destroy the first corvette and two for the next. And now we can slaughter the enemy fighters. Oh, easy, still easy. Ah, yes. It's kind of like sending heavy cruisers after free gates, just a bit faster. And. Yes, they somehow evaded all our shots in the first go, but now we are hitting them left and right, and this one is the last of them. Pirates are dead. Oh, yes. It's Looks like our reason. little bugger ship didn't get so far in, the, in all this fighting. Well, this fighting took a few seconds. No, time lapse again. Everything is eight times faster, and still we have to wait, 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 wait. Yes, closer, closer, closer. Ah, we're getting in range. Finally. Now everything is back at our command ship. Of course, the really funny thing is, you see on, uh, down below left, one of our goals is still kill all the fell pirates. This is the point I guess where I could just stop right here, and instead of finishing salvaging the wreck, I could just fly around killing pirates until I have found the every last one of them. But well, I personally think this is stupid. And we are some tough, a minor key, and we have no reason to do our military's work for them, so we just salvage this mysterious wreck, and then we are. Ah, first off, our ship has a few little gotten a few little scratches, so just let us repaint the hull a bit. And Frag disappears. So, seems like everything is over. The Bouchanre is safe. We got no fangs again. We destroyed the pirates attacking us. And we salvaged the mysterious Frag in deep space. 
Now our technicians, our researchers, are taking a good look at whatever we found. And this was the mission. The only thing left except of from me. Oh, the pirates retreat. Now the mission is over. Yes, yes, mysterious alien technology. Ooh. Could it be? What could it be? Well. This is something for yeah, next. Ah, uh, here I keep forgetting which Bereit. button to press. Like Gamora. Let's duck everything, let's seal everything up and then finish the mission. The only thing left is, well, a nice little cutscene at the end. So I'm speeding this up a little bit, so you don't have to be bored out of your mind. And, well, I don't want to replay this again, and cutscene time. Herzlich willkommen, Sontakiza. Haben Sie unsere Artefaktdaten bekommen? Haben wir. Unsere Forscher stimmen zu, dass weder Signal noch Design von den bekannten Spezies der Galaxis benutzt wird. Wo ist die Kapsel jetzt? Wir haben sie an Bord gebracht, sie ist jetzt im Haupthangar. Was sollen wir mit ihr tun? Wir sind nur ein Bergbauschiff. Uns fehlt die Ausrüstung, um so etwas zu untersuchen. Wir übermitteln Ihnen Pläne, nach denen Ihre Produktionsabteilung ein Forschungsmodul bauen kann. Verzeihung, Kiza. Wäre es nicht einfacher, einen anderen Fleet um Hilfe zu bitten? Wir sind immer noch in Rufweite des Navalkommandoschiffs. Die hätten auf jeden Fall die Mittel, um... Nein! So ein Fund könnte uns eine fremde Technologie erschließen die alle Errungenschaften anderer Kitit übertrifft. Die Sonta brauchen einen solchen Vorsprung. Wir haben ein Forschungsschiff, die Kläsern, das stellare Phänomene im Korruptelsystem untersucht. Dieses Schiff wurde angewiesen, ihre Koordinaten anzufliegen und ihnen ein Forschungsteam zu überstellen. Diese Angelegenheit darf nicht nach außen dringen. Ist das klar? Jawohl, Kitzer. Völlig klar. Kohnlan Ende. So, and with the help of our sister ship, we will take a good look at what. Exactly, we have found. But this is something for next time. This is little... Oh, again. Oh, of course. Of course, it's jammed. Of course, there are pirates. Ah. Okay, next time, let's get slaughtering some pirates. Ah, ah yes, and finding our little research sister ship. The Klee Sun. So, until next time, I'm finished.